All right, we're back to the abandoned house, and as you guys can see, we got the gold. We're gonna be doing something, something cool today. Something that you guys have been wanting, you've been asking about, and it's to figure out if this gold is real or not. When we were trying to do that one video before the gold got stolen, a few videos back, we were doing this one video where we we're going to get my friend Larry, and he was gonna show up and check on the gold because he's a gold expert apparently, so he knows like if this gold is real or not. Um, he's gonna be coming here today and we're gonna be dissecting this gold and see if it's actually real. And if it is, then Moses gets a new car. Oh yeah. And he gets a raise. <laughs> Woo! Uh, Mo isn't with us today. He's unfortunately got to work, which sucks. Why is he even doing that? I have no idea. Why do people- He has gold. Yeah, like he's got gold, potentially. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take it inside the house. Hopefully these guys don't show up. We have a security guard roaming around the fields. You guys know I hired a full-time security. That's always gonna be here um, when we're here and sometimes when we're not. So just to keep the house safe, because you know we've. We're doing a lot to this house for other videos that you guys haven't seen yet. So let's take it inside, wait for Larry to show up, and uh, hopefully hopefully this is worth a lot of money. I think it's gonna be worth a lot of money. Fingers crossed. All right, it was heavy bringing this damn gold in here. What do you think, dude, real gold or what? I hope so. I hope we stop bitching about his nine to five. This is good stuff. I'm pretty, it looks like real gold, dude. I don't, like, I don't know nothing about I'm gold. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited too. Excited. I don't know nothing about gold. And if it is, then you know what? I'm gonna pay for this house to be demolished and have like a SWAT team show up and like kill these clowns. Something like this, it's, it feels the way, man. I hear a car. Like guaranteed he's expensive. Here? I'll check. Oh yeah, he's here. He's a good friend of mine, his name is Larry. He's sold gold in the past. Like he's not like a professional professional, but he knows some stuff about gold apparently. Hassan also knows some stuff about gold apparently too. So um, you're saying maybe 90% chance? <sighs> It, it looks like 80%. It looks I would real, say right? I would say 80% yeah. definitely. Um, but to be honest, I've never I don't I've never held big bricks like that. Yo, come on in, dude. <sighs> so boring. Why do people do this? God damn it! I keep getting nothing. I hate fishing. I'm so bored. Oh man! I lost my bait. This sucks. How do people do this? This is not fun. I wanted something fun. Stop wasting your time on fishing. Jesus, is that you? Yeah. What are you doing here? I'm here to tell you about Fishing Clash. Oh my God. Today's video is sponsored by Fishing Clash. As you guys can see, I'm absolutely terrible at fishing. I would love to get into it, but I can't. And it's because things like this happen. This sucks. My wire gets all caught up in the trees all the time. Fish come out dead. I don't know what to do, but thanks to Jesus, I can fish with Fishing Clash on my phone. So let's do it. Fishing Clash has one of the most realistic graphics you've ever seen in mobile games. Travel all around the world and fish in different locations, explore amazing fishing spots, and enjoy chilling atmosphere from home. This week, you'll be able to immerse yourself in Halloween atmosphere in the game. Take part in the special event, solve daily riddles, take part in a special competition to get rewards. This event is available for all users from level 10. You know, to some people, it's kind of weird that I came out here to actually fish, but I'm sitting here playing Fishing Clash. But you know what? I think this is the best place to play it. Fishing Clash is so therapeutic. It's so much fun. And I think this is a better view than, than that. So uh, let's get right into it. All right, here we go. I'm about to cast my fishing rod. Look at that water. It's so beautiful. The graphics in this game are next level. Unreal. Oh, I got something. Reel it in. I gotta reel it in. Come on, come on, baby. Come on out here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, this is a big one. This is the big fish. We got something really big. Oh, 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 oh. I'm about to get it. Oh, look, there's a lady on the dock and she's in a bikini. This is such a cool game. Oh my God, I caught something. I got something. I got something. It's a schoolmaster snapper. Something I would have never been able to capture here because it's dirty here. And there's no fish here. There's only whales. Yeah. Use my special gift code, MOSARGY, to get a total value reward of $20. With my gift code, you'll get a three-star rod. Definitely not like this. This is like a minus five. A mythical lure, 50 luck power-ups, and 30 weight power-ups to help you catch bigger fish. Download Fishing Clash by using my links in the description and scanning this QR code that you're seeing on the screen right now. Guys, don't forget, I'm giving you guys a promo code, code MOSARGY. Make sure to use it so you guys can get yourself a reward. Larry is here. He's asked us not to be on camera because of what he does for a living. Um, he just doesn't want to be on YouTube. Some people are out there don't want to be on YouTube. Some people want to be on YouTube. Nah, I don't care. Really. Why are you sweating so much? Because it's so <laughs> hot. <man. laughs> I came on my motorcycle. It's it a is a beautiful hot. day. It's a beautiful day. Dude, outside. we're in October and it's uh, hot. Yeah. Like it's crazy. It's like 24 degrees out, man. Holy crap. So, Celsius like, for those American people. All right, guys. So we got Larry over here. Um, uh, he's going to be looking at the gold. And I think it's one bar of silver. 
So this is a silver bar. I have my doubts about this one because it's very light. Silver, mm. I think, is supposed to be heavy. I can already tell that this is fake. But these Wait, ones... Wait, that, that's fake? This is fake. Yeah, I can tell this This is pretty So I, I had my opinions about this yeah. too because it's just, it's way too light. Yeah, it's too light. What it kind of looks like... What is this? Like Probably aluminum? zinc or aluminum. Might be aluminum, right? Yeah, most likely. I wonder what's, what, what is aluminum worth? Like, uh, it's not magnesium. Bucks? Yeah. It is, it is the same weight around zinc and aluminum. I think it is aluminum. Okay, but that's definitely gold. That's got to be gold. This uh -huh. looks more realistic. This is very heavy and you can tell by the color. There's a chance there is some gold in here. Um, we would have to test it out, to be honest. What about the other ones? Can you take a look at the other bars? The, the Dude, smaller my ones. my heart is like dropping right yeah. now. Yeah, these, these look like they can be worth a lot of money, to be honest with you. Where'd you guys find these? So, I, we were metal detecting on the property. Okay. And we found them, and look at this, the box yeah. actually has a Nazi inscription yeah, on it. Yeah, so that's what I was gonna say. Back in the uh, 1943 era, 1944, when people were escaping Germany, uh, they started melting their gold and shipping them across in boats and U-boats. So there's a big chance this is real gold from the uh, German era. So, so here's the thing, I've actually found treasures up in the attic. I found this old leather case that had actual Nazi um, buttons, like uniform okay. buttons with the soldiers' photos, actual Nazi soldiers. I found them upstairs okay. in the attic. And I also found a box full of stamps very old stamps like that date back to like the 16, 17, 1800s and some of them were Nazi stamps as well. And that's why like when we found this, we're like, holy shit, there's Nazi gold here. Yeah, there's a lot of stories of this type of thing happening where people bought old homes and the owners originally uh, dug stuff around the property. Now, the new owners might not know about it until they start looking like you did. You start looking around the property and you found some of this stuff. So we, we've heard a lot of stories about people bringing us gold that's from that era as well. And same similar situation, they found it uh, in the backyard uh, on their property. And wow. the fact that you found pictures and stuff, yeah, there just, must have been a Nazi living here before. It must have been a Nazi. Yeah, because it's, it's not uncommon. Yeah, I mean, no, we, we do have a POW camp near us. Yep. It's about three hours away. It's in Oshawa, Ontario. Okay. And that's where Nazis were actually jailed here. Some of them escaped yep. in the yeah. past. So um, if it's not them, it's probably their kids yeah. or their grandkids that kept this stuff. So a lot of these people kept this stuff like metals uh, and it was souvenirs. And a lot of them didn't know what their grandfather was involved in, but they kept it as souvenirs and they hid it from the public. So here's the thing. Um, having Nazis here in Canada is not uncommon. I've actually been to a mansion. It's torn down now. It was in the Toronto area and somewhere out in the countryside. And I did a video there. It's an abandoned mansion. This, the guy that owned it loved Hitler. He actually had a picture of him on the wall holding a photo of Hitler. And this was all over the news. It was covered on the news many times. His house was built to look identical to Hitler's actual house in Bavaria. Like identical. When I went there, I was like, holy f***. That's a Canada. beautiful place too. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was yeah. really unique, but he had Nazi emblems and symbols um, created into the architecture of the house. So the beams had Nazi emblems in it. Holy the, the wallpaper, the drywall, like everything on the walls had Nazi stuff in it. It was really creepy. There was a bathtub that was half sunk into the ground, just like Hitler's bathtub. Mm -hmm. So it was really cool. That's why I'm saying it's not uncommon to have Nazi stuff here in Canada. Um, do you have, like, can you test this gold out in any way? Like, uh, we have a few chemicals we can test with right now and tell you on the spot if it's real gold or if there's a trace of gold in it. Um, see, sometimes they would sneak cross, things across the borders by mixing it with different metals and people wouldn't know. So that was one way for them to sneak stuff across. Oh, shit. Uh, another thing too. I never thought of that. Yeah, yeah the so envelope. So it could be mixed, yeah. like actual gold mixed with. Absolutely. So they, the only so people that would know are the people like who mixed stuff. it would know by, you know, breaking it and, you know, reconstructing, you know, splitting the, uh, the types of metals they used. Um, but another thing about the emblem, a lot of people don't realize that that emblem is actually from Hindu originally. The swastika is yeah. actually a Hindu emblem. So I, I know that. Yeah, it could yeah. be people who were here also before. I think it's the Hindus. It's yeah. angled though. The Hinduism one is... The way you're looking at it, it's it's not an yeah. uh, on an angle. It could be uh, Nazis are on an angle. Hinduism is straight up and down straight usually. Up and down, so yeah. like yeah, it's so very, like Hitler yeah. jacked their emblem. Yeah. He did jack it. Well, even it. in Egyptian yeah. times, they have the same ones too. Yeah. you'll see it in like uh, in the in the pyramids and so stuff. So what we know is the emblem does represent something, and there you found gold, and the silver does look fake. We can always test it. It could be again. Uh, From when I first found this stuff, yeah. I, I said this was aluminum yeah. because I, it, it's light, dude, yeah, and I know right. what aluminum yeah. is. 
but I know nothing about gold, and that's right. heavy, and that's got to yeah, be gold. We can test it here on the spot. Okay. We can test it here. All right, let's do it. I, let's I, do it. I, I'm excited. Let's do let's this, do man. This is so cool. Dude, what is that? It's like. All right, so this is the chemicals we use to test on the spot. Uh, it's a quick test we can do. Uh, so let's let's test one of your bars and see how uh, how it goes. All right, let's do it. Let's start off with like a small one. All right, or very very small drop. Wait, what are you doing right now? Okay, so this is uh, vinegar. This is one way we can test the metal. So we put a little bit vinegar. of vinegar. Yeah. Here, let me get some lighting in on for y'all. So we put a little bit of vinegar, uh -huh. and then what we're looking for is a color change. So we put a little bit of vinegar with uh, peroxide. I wouldn't suggest doing this at home. Could what, lead to burns. Ah, it could burn your skin, irritate your skin. Damn. Oh, that stinks, that vinegar. Yeah. Then we're gonna put a little bit of peroxide. Oh! I'm just joking. I thought it would explode. <laughs> so what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna let it sit for 20 seconds and then we're gonna rub it. Uh, we need a piece of metal. Yeah, I got a knife. You got a knife? Yeah. All right. So actually, look, without even rubbing it. Oh, what the See what happened? Wait, does that mean it's actual gold? No, nah, unfortunately it means it's not. See Wait, how the color's no. changing? I didn't even have to rub it. Rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it. What, what see it how the brown is stick? Oh, more brown should come out. Let's see like how the brown is, is Are growing. you getting that on camera? Yeah. See how this brown is growing? Like this whole shape. What the f are you serious? Yeah. So this is not real? Unfortunately, it's not. Oh, Dude, it's rusting. Man. Yeah, it's rusting. It's not Wait, real. Wait, gold doesn't rust? No. No. That's why it's so expensive. <laughs> the reason why. Let's try some more. Well, we can try this one here, but if you let it sit, probably need to put add a bit of peroxide. Dude, try that big one. Like, cover the whole thing. I don't care. Like, if, if it's fake, it's fake. It's So what could it be? Yeah, this one's fake as well. You can tell. See here how the color's changing already? What? Color started to change. Oh, shit. Uh -huh. What? So... Don't need to add some more. So, you can see it. So if it's gold, it doesn't change color. Yeah, if it's gold, it doesn't change. It might might be Wait, a little bit of a dark what, what black. If, yeah. What as if, you rub it. What if it's just the dust that's on it? No. It's it's actually digging in okay. the material. Do some more. Do some more. I want do some more. Let's Man. try another one here. Let's Dude, put this a is stupid. In this so cool, Why would anybody bury not real gold? That makes no sense. Again, it could uh, be it could be that they buried some gold with with the fake gold. To, like a decoy. Exactly. That's a possibility huh. as well. So if somebody like us found it, we test two or three and then we're like, ah, oh, it's fake. Oh, well, we actually, we should test them all then. Just in case. Let's see. Let's see what we get. But I feel like this whole piece, so. Yeah, it is reacting pretty. Yeah, dude, look, it's rusting right away. There you go, what? see? See how oh, it started yeah. rusting right here? What the hell, man? Yeah. This sucks. What about this one? Let's try the, uh, let's try the aluminum. Let's try the aluminum. I don't know if you're gonna get any reaction from this one, because this feels just like a piece of metal. Aluminum doesn't rust. It's not supposed to. No. There's food grade aluminum that's not supposed to. There's some cheaper aluminum these days that they use. It depends the alloy. the kitchen eh? ones. The kitchen ones, yeah. The kitchen ones, uh, I think 304, if I'm not mistaken. Hmm. So nothing is happening with that. And if that was silver, that would have... I mean, that could be silver. No, that's not silver. Look, it's, it's, it's rusting too. It's starting. Or no. Hold on, let me see this. No, this is aluminum 100%. Yeah, aluminum, aluminum doesn't rust, no, first doesn't of all. Rust. That's why they use it in kitchens. Yeah. Aluminum doesn't rust, but that is... This, look, look at it, look at it now. It yeah, reacted yeah. even more. Holy crap. What the heck, man? Now I'm pissed. So yeah, this is not even real gold. Are you sure you're not, like, jipping us, dude? Dude, the other day when I called you to, like, come and help us, we ended up getting jacked. Like, these homeless guys that are, have, we've been dealing with, we have a security guard in the forest right now just patrolling. Um, they stole the gold and I, it took me like a week to get it back. Well, like, they probably swapped it to get you off their back. It's a big possibility. No, they put this was, fake it, stuff in there. No, these were the same bars, the same everything. They didn't yeah. swap. I don't think they know that it's fake. Give it back to them. <gasps> Dude. Maybe that's how you can, uh... Oh my God. You know, what if, trap them, huh? Larry, you're a genius. Or, or make peace with them. Give it back to them. Oh my God, dude, that's a brilliant idea. Dude, what if I go and plant the gold in the forest? Leave a note like, hey, this is a peace offering. You can have the gold. Leave us the alone. You'd finally get this place to yourself and you wouldn't have to get like scared. Yeah, just clean out the pieces. Like they're not going to know it's fake, right? They're not going to know. They, not... they haven't tested it this long. Like you can tell nobody's tested this 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 metal before, dude, so they don't know. They have no idea. Has, they don't, they oh, probably wow. Don't know. They're, they're probably bad. collecting it. Yeah, see, it's, yeah, it's, it's really, really bad. It's, really it's bad. reacting a lot now. All right, man. Thanks for your time. Dude. All right. Thank you, guys. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Good luck. Thanks, Larry. Keep on digging. Dude, Larry is the man. But Larry really... Like it's not his fault, but he pissed me off. I'm, I'm actually like, your brother doesn't even know this. I'm pissed off. 
He's gonna have to keep his job. <laughs> Damn, there's no way it's fake. Let's look at it again. Maybe he's lying to us and trying to like steal it or something. What did it dude, he left his stuff. Oh well. Anyways. Look, oh dude, look how rusty that is now. Yeah, that doesn't look good. Yeah, that's that's definitely not gold. Oh, that's I wonder what kind of metal it is. Maybe it's brass or something. Bro, that looks but he, he did come up with a good idea. Like let's let's make a truce. Do you guys think we should do that? Should we go and plant the gold in the forest, leave a camera hidden and, and see how the clowns react? We have to like leave a note too. I think we'll do that like at nighttime. Let's f with them. Like they're not gonna know it's fake. Yeah. But we can lie to them and like be like, hey, you guys can have this gold if you leave us alone. Like we're we're buying security. <laughs> Cause like it's getting expensive for me to pay money for a security guard every day. Like I'm paying like Five hundred dollars a day for this guy to come here and just watch over us while we're, you know. Yo, Ted, where you at, man? Ted, hello. Yo, is everything okay? A security guard. Hello. Ted. Ted, come in. Check in with me, man. Bro, where is he? I haven't heard from him in like an hour. Do you even see him? Is he there? Ted, where are you? He's not even answering. Ted. What is that noise? That's his walking. Sounds like he's being dragged. Yeah. Or something's being dragged. Yo, Ted. What the f am I paying you for? Where are you? Dude, where the f is this guy? I'm so firing his ass. Honestly. Ted. First he calls in sick, like after a few days of working for us. And now he's like MIA. Bro, you think they got him? That's no way, dude. That guy has a gun and everything. Then how did he get the walkie-talkie? Ted, where are you? <laughs> no more. What the f Steve, what the f are you doing with Ted's walkie-talkie? Hello? Steve! I'm getting, I'm getting scared right now. Dude, Steve's got his walkie-talkie and that means Ted's in trouble. Yeah. What is he doing to him? What is that? It sounds like a rope being tied or like... But he's tying him up. Steve, you better not be hurting Ted. What did you do with him? Ted, come in! Bro, we gotta end this. Let's let's fly the drone and see if we can see them because all the leaves have dropped now. You can see everything in the forest. Yeah, that's a good idea. Love the fact that we got solar lights in here because I I made a vlog coming here and we installed solar lights and we did some things on the house. If you guys want to see that, the link is gonna be down below. Subscribe to the vlog channel. You'll see more stuff there. Um, the drone's outside. I'm gonna fly it out right now and uh, see what the f is going on in there. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's go into the dude. It's so cool that you can see everything. Everything's so clear. <gasps> oh, what the f what? He's right there. He's on the path. You see him? No. Yeah. He's running. He just noticed a drone. No. He's running. He's running. Where the f is he? Dude, he's got the security guy's fucking jacket. What? No. Oh. Yo, seriously? Save you piece of shit. You better bring Ted back. I'm following him. I'm following him. Dude, he's running fast. He just crossed the bridge right now. Well, thank God it's a drone. Maybe we can keep an eye on him. Yeah. No! What? He just ducked in, into the fucking thick forest. We can't even see him now on the drone. I'm looking, I'm looking. I got tracking on him, so this thing, like, it follows movement. Like, I turn tracking on right away. Dude, I lost him. No. Steve, what did you do with Ted? Bring him back right now. Dude, I'm, like, searching everywhere. Back to our property right now. Fuck, Ted. 
Ted, are you there, man? Where are you, Ted? Dude, I saw him on the floor. He was right here. Did that see yellow tree? <laughs> Bro, this is where you lost. Them. This is where I lost him on the drone. He ducked. He ducked into all these cedars over here. What the hell's going on? It's like clowns laughing at us. They're ducks, dude. Scarecrows. I mean, crows. That is so creepy. <laughs> dude, we lost them. Where the hell is Ted, our security guard? The, the, Steve had him. He had his jacket in his hand. He could be trying to get revenge because I destroyed his campsite. Yeah. Campsite, let's go. I thought he'd be here, but he's not here. What the hell, man? Dude, we're gonna give these guys these good. Well, they don't know it, that it's fake, but we're gonna give these guys the gold. Shut up, you stupid fucking geese. All right, so I don't know what to do. I think it's time we contact them. Dude, there's no way one guy was able to take on Ted. No way, Ted's, Ted's a, a beast. beast. Yeah. See, we both yeah. said that at the same time. Ted's a beast. Oh. And he's got a gun. Unless they got his gun. Then we're royally f***ed. And we gotta come in here strapped. They have flamethrowers and they have guns. The last time I encountered them, when you were asleep in the house, two of them came after him with two flamethrowers. Motherfuckers. What do we do? Steve, where the f*** is Ted? It's that noise again. Steve, where are you? Come talk to me face to face. It's like he's rubbing something. Are you on a high? Are you high right now? Are you on drugs? We can help you out, man. We can get you help. You clearly need it. Are you on, are you on drugs right now? Don't forget to download Fishing Class using my links pinned to the top of the description. See you on the next video.